Yeah, my name is Zwai Mbula. I was born in Kuguletu and I moved from Kuguletu to Norway. I'm a musician, I'm an artist. I do different kinds of projects and I've been working in Norway for the past 14 years now. And I'm coming back to South Africa to do some work in terms of opening a music school and also creating, um, I'm a marima player by the way, and creating an instrument that has my, my, my name, which is a new brand of these marimba instruments that we're gonna work with. Yeah, so I'm trying to do some projects with schools, with uh, youth centers, as a part of giving back to my community where all these things started. Oh, okay. Yes. And where did it all start? Oh, it started at a um, community center called Luyolo. I was, I think I was the, at the age of 12 when I started to play marimba. And then it, we went on to Shero to fame, and then we, we won the, 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 um, the traditional category there. And then from there, I went to UCT to study more about African music. And then from there, it just went up, 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 up. When I moved to Norway, and then I worked in different countries around Scandinavia, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, and uh, also Iceland, and also Eastern Europe, uh, Latvia, Estonia, and all those places. So I've been I've been around with my with my music. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's why you call everybody has been around the block. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I I've been around. I've been around. Yeah. Oh, great, great. And so um, you saying you here to open a school? Yes. Yeah, it's it's, it's a marimba academy actually. So I I want to develop new new uh, marimba players, and I want them to be able to go back to their communities, townships, schools and stuff like that and teach this instrument because I believe that it hasn't been uh, taken so seriously as one of the instruments that can actually have a social change in our communities. And uh, it's dear to my heart, you know, marimba means the wood that sings. And yeah, and uh, I've done so much with that instrument in, in, here in South Africa and in, in Norway and uh, being recognized very well uh, when it comes to, to that instrument and, and, and percussion. So I want to, to promote it. In fact, I want to industrialize the whole um, marimba uh, music. You know, I want the marimba music to be on TV. I want the marimba music to be played on the radios. I want marimba music to, to find them in the libraries and, and you know, to, to to sustain it for generations and generations to come. I mean, yeah. the South Africans, when we sing marimba, stand to be corrected, but yes. I think the first thing that springs to mind yeah. is Amambo. Amambo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, of course, I, I have a bit of influence from there because uh, when I was in UCT, uh, Dizu Plakis, uh, one of the leaders of Amambo, was my lecturer there. And, uh, you know, Tsumpiwe Matole is the guy who inspired me a lot. He played, he used to play the soprano marimba, and he was very, very good. So I used to listen to them a lot and, and, and get inspired by these uh, old guys, you know, legends. I call them legends when it comes to marimba music, because they've been touring since I was born. I mean, I think I started 1978 when they were touring already around the world, yeah. So they are my my inspiration as well. Yeah. And then the reception of your marimba skills uh, in your own project? Oh, okay, at first uh, I came there, you know, trying to find out what's happening within the music scene in, 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 in Norway. Then of course, you know, when, when, you, when you believe in yourself and you, you know what you are capable of doing, because uh, when I came with the marimba, it was a different instrument, completely different. No one plays marimba there. Yeah, so I, I, I took that space and I was like, okay, I'm going to show them how I can use this instrument. And also it helped me to have that background of, of music theory in terms of, you know, if they come with a score or if, you know, they talk about chords and, and all of those things, I could understand but I'm using this African instrument 
you know. So I, I, I did so many projects there. I played in every festival. I taught the whole country. And not only Norway, but the whole of Europe, you know, I, I have done so much. And uh, the reception was good because it was uh, like something different, completely different. And the way I interpret the instrument and my emotions in it, it's in, on another level. It's on another level, yeah. So now you say you're designing or you've designed? Yes, it's, it's a new business venture that uh, I thought about it that, no, you know, why don't we have an African instrument that ha has an African name, you know, especially a player, someone who's been playing this instrument for such a long time and is being recognized all around the world. I said, no, I, I have to take youth and, and give them jobs to design a new kind of uh, marimbas that will be able to, to you know, to be bought by people, public, you can have it on your lounge, like pianos and, and, and guitars and all those things, yeah. But this African instrument, that people should be able to go to the music shop and say, I want that instrument to put it in my, you know, lounge, not, not only buying pianos and, and, and all other instruments, but our own, because we need to protect our own and, and develop it, you know. And, 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 and make also make money out of it. Of course, we have to, to make profits and, 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 you know, and protect what is ours. Yeah, so, yeah. Sounds like a very, very good idea. Yeah. To show everybody it is not like, no matter what this looks like. Yeah. So when should they expect to see this instrument that you're working on? Okay. Ah, uh, it's going to come soon. Yeah, it's going to come soon. Uh, we have a factory now that is in, in, in Johannesburg, at, in, in Rudeport. So we are trying to develop there, you know, all my designs that I have in my mind. They are developing them now, and the sound and everything like that. Yeah, as you know, it's a, it's a wood, wooden instrument, but we want to be able to, to have uh, a more, yeah, a tune and, and, you know, particular tunes and just, just like the, the any other instrument, you know, that you find, yeah. So we will develop it, we'll make a box as an art piece that if you put it on stage, you know, you can see maybe a village there on that box or you can see a township or you can, you know, the background of something. Yeah, so it, it, it's kind of a visionary situation there, yeah. Sounds very interesting, man. Mm. Can we for yeah. Say yeah. Okay. Cool. And then you said you starting the school. The school that is starting. Who are you working with? Yeah. I, I'm. I'm actually now trying to find a team of, of of people that will teach and also that I will teach and then later they teach as well. Yeah. And I've, I've got some couple of guys from the township. Uh, Lulama. I have um, also. Rianda and, 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 and others uh, that will be able to teach uh, later uh, where they come from, yeah. And then do you have a specific date in mind to start the school? Yeah, at the moment we have some bit of challenges, you know, uh, with, with funds and stuff like that. But um, my hope is to open it this year. It is to maybe in November sometime. But if that's not possible, then uh, the, 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 uh, next year we will try to to open it. But my wish is that it can be uh, yeah soon because there's a lot of young marimba players who are contacting me, and they want to start you know to learn this instrument. Yeah. And I can fully agree with you. Mm. I know a couple of marimba players. Yes. But uh, well, they're not really playing, but I think yeah. the musical kids they've been playing marimba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. now, there's not really much happening. No, not at all. Not at all. And as I'm saying, I want to work with schools as well. Maybe we can go to schools and then take the best, and they can come to the academy, and then on the later stage they can decide if maybe they want to continue with it on the highest level, like go to. University of Cape Town or, you know, go to skilled schools and start to work and teach, yeah, this instrument, yeah, no, music, good, yeah. That's a good initiative. And mm. then if, for example, there's someone who mm. would like to work with you or mm. 
Yes. Yeah. How do they get hold of you? Yeah, or oh, they can email me at uh, Sabela Productions at gmail.com and they can also email me directly on Zwai Mbula at gmail.com or they can also call me uh, directly at 060 426 7158. Yes, and then my international number is also plus 47. Four double five zero seven one double five. It's 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 always on on WhatsApp and, and, and other platforms. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yes. And then, do you have any social media? Okay. On Facebook is Zwaimbula. Yes. If you type Zwaimbula, you can get me. You can Google my name. All the information is there as well. Zwaimbula, and on Twitter as well is Zwaimbula. Instagram Zwaimbula. So. Uh, that's my name in all social media platforms. Yeah. And then, so speaking of music, now, do you have an album out? Yes, I, in Norway, I did uh, two albums. There's two albums out in Norway. That they are in music shops there, and then you can also find it in libraries, which is the same thing that I want to do in South Africa. I want my music to be in, in, in the libraries. Because they, 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 it was about 2,000 uh, uh, musicians who sent their CDs to be selected that they can put in libraries. And then they could only select one. They could only select one in that year. And it was my, 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 my CD called My Heritage. Yes, yes. Much respect, much yes, respect. yes, yeah. Okay, cool, man. Uh, what an interesting conversation, man. Yes. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that you'd like to share. To, to share. Okay. And uh, here at home, finally, I got some type of uh, recognition when they uh, brand SA and, and also Cape Town International Film Festival. They selected me and, and uh, Trevor Noah and Russell as one of the uh, most patriotic arts ambassadors in the world. So that was a, a good <laughs> award that was that was part of yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So we are I'm looking forward to work with him for, for the years to come. I think I will if things goes well, I will see him uh, next day. Next day, yeah. And we do wish you all the best, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much for taking time to come and speak to us. Thank yes, you. yes. Thank you so much. Oh, one last thing. And again, this this year, I've been appointed by the UN program called African uh, International Decade for African for Peoples of Africa. So it's a um, it's a I will be the African Arts Ambassador for African Diaspora in that program. It's about recognition, justice, and development. So I will be working a lot with other African state artists. So that's a, a good thing for us in South Africa. I'm proud to be your homeboy. Yes, yes, yeah, yes thank you. Google right? it, yeah. Google it, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, 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 so,